are exciting days for a Chi Alpha campus ministries across the country. During the past five years, we've seen significant growth in not only our number of ministries, which top out at 280, but also with regard to our missionaries. Our missionary workforce has doubled in the last five years alone, and over 25,000 students are now actively involved in Chi Alpha in some level at a local university across America. Most of our growth is a result of uh, Chi Alpha's strategic plan called Chi Alpha 2010. And with that event, uh, with that effort, we spend a lot of time focusing on pioneering new campus ministries as well as working with our missionaries in a variety of ways in terms of their growth and development personally. So much of our development has taken place that we said, you know what, we need to start uh, with another five-year strategic plan. So this coming January, we're launching Chi Alpha 2015. And one of the key initiatives for us is that of diversity. Today I'm here with Mark Briley, who serves on campus at Georgetown School of, Minis of Medicine, yes. as well as uh, leads ministry uh, to Howard University. Mark, thanks for coming. Really Thank appreciate you, you being here. here. Tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got involved with Chi Alpha. I started out doing campus ministry, my wife and myself, as uh, lay leaders in a local Assembly Guide church, uh, my goodness, 22 years ago. And um, it just got to the point we were doing 10 hours of campus ministry a week, and both of us, of course, working full-time vocational jobs, and, and uh, just started praying and said, God, either you have to call us into full-time vocational ministry or raise someone else, and God answered that prayer. And, and uh, now we're nationally appointed U.S. missionaries with, uh, with Chi Alpha. Well, obviously, National Chi Alpha has tapped on your shoulder to help us with uh, this issue and question of diversity. When we use the word diversity, uh, what are we really addressing? I think uh, diversity, especially in terms of ministry, I tend to think of uh, developing ministers and ministries that with intentionality will seek to become more reflective of the campus ministry in which they're part of. And so uh, ideally, of course, uh, diversity in ethnicity, gender, age, of course, leadership, skills, talents, and giftings, and uh, really becoming a, a diverse in a sense of being really different but also unified to express the love and claims of Jesus Christ to the campus community at large. And so that's what I tend to think of when I think about diversity, especially as it relates to ministry. When you think about Chi Alpha nationwide, how would you describe the state of diversity with, with regard to Chi Alpha? I would say uh, because of the leadership that we've had and, uh, and really kind of a lot of the initiatives out of 2010, uh, we've seen some tremendous strides, but I believe our, our best days are still in front of us and we're kind of leaning into it. Um, of course, Chi Alpha is missional. Uh, missions is a part of our spiritual DNA. And of course, you know, every student pray, give, go. So of course, we're reconciling students to Christ, transforming the university marketplace in the world. And so that missional component, missional DNA has helped foster diversity uh, in Chi Alpha. We're cross-cultural learners. Of course, there's been a huge emphasis uh, uh, to this point on International Student Friendship Ministries, and I believe that has also helped foster uh, diversity. So I've seen some tremendous uh, strides. So we have more women that are involved in, in, mm -hmm. in ministry, uh, both single as well as married. And, um, but I believe our greater days are still in front of us, and, and uh, we're going to lean into it. Excellent. Um, when you think about opportunities to expand Chi Alpha's diversity nationwide, uh, what kind of opportunities are there out there for us? I would say uh, tremendous opportunities simply because of the, the ethnic landscape of America is, is changing. Uh, most social analysts say that we're becoming, slowly becoming what they call a majority, a minority majority society in which uh, the majority of the population of America is, uh, is people of color. And so by 2050, uh, most experts believe that uh, the Latino community will be 33% of the population. African-American community, 13%, and the Asian community, 9%. And so when you look at those stats, and, and, and not to mention, uh, you know, in addition to those stats, but look across the university campus, and there are 700,000 international students uh, studying here, representing 200-plus nations of the earth. I mean, we have incredible opportunities to take this gospel uh, to the nations of the earth by reaching people right here in America. It's incredible. How does a local campus ministry become more diverse? I would say... Um, there needs to be uh, intentionality in a couple of areas. One of the areas is um, in the planning of your corporate events, i.e. retreats, uh, i.e. campus-wide outreaches in which people will catch a glimpse of the ethnic and gender makeup of your local campus ministry group. I think those are all, all important. Um, and I would say kind of reminding ourselves that we're called to be fishers of men. Successful fishermen are consumed with trying to find out what is the bait the fish is going to 
going to bite. And I think sometimes a ministry, by not by design, but by default, uh, excuse me, or, or uh, yes, not by design, but by default, um, we tend to we tend to throw the same bait that, that has worked for us in the past and that we, we enjoy. I love fishing, I love especially bass fishing, and I have one particular lure that I use all the time. Every <laughs> once in a while I'll have a, a different type of fish uh, hit it, but uh, if I want to reach the, the various types of fish, I need to use different, uh, different strategies. How does uh, having a more diverse campus ministry lead us maybe to having more diversity amongst our missionary workforce? Um, first of all, I would say this is, this is in the heart of our uh, national as well as local um, missionary leadership uh, team. Um, everywhere you go across the country, people are talking, talking about this within Chi Alpha. And so I, I think uh, being intentional as far as raising up people and bringing them into leadership, I would say there needs to be an intentional focus on, on behalf of uh, raising up minorities as well as um, women in ministry, con continued efforts for that. I think about in the book of Acts when the the Grecian Jews brought a complaint to the Hebraic leadership. They said, hey, look, our widows are being overlooked in the daily distribution of food. And that day, uh, the Hebraic leadership team responded with intentionality. They brought Grecians into the leadership to give oversight and the responsibility of overlooking that, that ministry. And I think there's a tendency to uh, say, in a predominantly, say, African-American ministry, if a white person comes in and says, hey, uh, we, you know, we have some needs that's not being met, just simply take another African-American and have them overlook that as opposed to bringing that white person into leadership and vice versa. It happens in every, uh, you know, majority ethnic ministry. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, we, we have to be intentional about bringing people into leadership. When you think about this uh, diversity task group in the next five years, where do you see yourself kind of placing the energies of that of that work team? Uh, right now, we're still in the process of forming that task group, and and uh, we've got you know several confirmations. Um, we're praying, we're seeking the face of God, and and that's where we want to solicit the help of of uh, Chi Alpha in general. Uh, perhaps there's people out there that are interested in being a part of this. They can contact us, contact the national office, say, hey, I want to be a part of helping lean into lean into this, uh, uh, this initiative. If somebody had more questions, how could they get a hold of Mark Briley? They can email me at briley4xa at aol.com, B-R-I-L-E-Y, the number four, xa at aol.com. Uh, they can also follow my tweets, uh, twitter.com slash xadude, <laughs> twitter.com slash dude, And then also, of course, if they go to chiapha.com, they can see uh, not only some of my tweets that's posted there, but tweets from from Chi Alpha leadership, uh, leadership personnel all around the nation. Excellent. Well, we're excited about the upcoming work of the Diversity Task Group. We're excited about what will look like in five years when Absolutely. Chi Alpha 2015 wraps up. I, I tell you, we've got some great, great days in front of us. I'm excited to be a part of Chi Alpha and excited about what God is doing in and through this ministry. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. Thank you.